Pee-wee's Big Adventure was a hit when it came out in 1985, helping Paul Rubens launch his popular Saturday morning TV series, Pee-wee's Playhouse, the following year. The show ran for five seasons and featured puppets along with human characters played by emerging stars like S. Apatha Merkerson, who was Reba the Mail Lady, Lawrence Fishburne as Cowboy Curtis, Phil Hartman as Captain Carl, and Natasha Lyonne as Opal. The series ended in 1991, the same year Rubens endured a fall from grace when he was charged with indecent exposure at an adult theater in Florida. Is the definition of a victimless crime. Mercifully, his career survived as he continued to appear on a number of TV series, including Murphy Brown and in movies like the comedy Mystery Men and the crime drama Blow. In 2010, Rubens revived the stage show that kicked off his stardom, The Pee Wee Herman Show, which made its way to Broadway. In 2016, he was Pee-wee once again in a Netflix movie produced by Rubens and Judd Apatow, Pee-wee's Big Holiday. He also sent wildly inventive birthday cards to people he considered his friends. It was a badge of honor to be on Paul Rubens' mailing list. Coming up, we continue our tribute to some of the actors we lost this year with a 1981 drama featuring Melinda Dillon, who died in January. She gives a moving, Oscar-nominated performance in Absence of Malice, starring Paul Newman and Sally Field. That's next on TCM. Next on TCM, Absence of Malice. 
then Sunday, bloody Sunday, and later, hair. Treat yourself to some TCM tonight. This is 